Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I am back again today with a, another spring training preseason game between my Providence Grays and another team in my league. And um, this time it's going to be the Green Lakes Gophers. Now, the Green Lakes Gophers are in my side. They're on my side of the league, but they're in the other division. Um, they're not expected to be a very good team this year, not in comparison to the uh, rest, rest of the league. They're probably about as good as my team, maybe not quite as good. I'm not sure, but we'll see. I guess we'll see. But anyway, yeah, another preseason game. We're playing on the road this time against Green Lakes. If you've been keeping track of my preseason preseason record, I am one and two so far. I beat Bobtown. I lost to Endwell and I lost to Caseville. And so now we have another team on the list, and that is Green Lakes. So um uh, you can see the pitching matchup, or I hope you can see the, the pitching matchup is going to be Merrill Kelly for my Providence Grays and uh, Gio Gonzalez for Green Lakes. So that seems like a reasonable matchup. Um, and uh, so let's, oh, hold on. Let me turn down the sound. So let's get going. So it looks like this, it looks like he's in Yankee Stadium. Nice. All right. Well, now we got Bryce Harper coming up against Geo. And that's going to be a strikeout. Timmy Anderson's up. And he's out. And that brings up Joey Gallo. And he strikes out. So now um, Dexter Fowler is leading off for him against Merrill Kelly, my main man, Merrill Kelly, who I just drafted this year. And he walked Fowler, so Mitch Moreland is up. It's going to be a ground ball C, so that'll move Fowler over to second. And Grandall is up. And Grandall singles, and I'm going to try to throw for the lead runner. And I, I did I get him? Yeah, I did. All right, nice. So, Grand Dolls at first. There's two outs, and Gary Sanchez is up. And uh, that's a pop out. So, now you got Trey Mancini in the top of the second for my Grays. And he's grounding out. And then that brings up Hunter Pence. Hunter Pence is going to hit a ground ball, and he's out on it. And that brings up Murphy, and Murphy walks. Tom Murphy. So Randall Gritchick is up with Tom Murphy at first, and two outs, and he strikes out. So that's the end of the uh, half inning, and now we go to the bottom of the second with Max Kepler up against Merrill Kelly, and he walks. And that brings up Kipness. Somebody actually has Kipness in this league. And he walked. Man. All right. So two on, no outs. Javi Baez is up and he strikes out. That brings up the Todd Father, Todd Frazier. And he's going to fly out. And then that brings up Kevin Pillar, who is going to not home run. He's going to hit a fly ball. So. It's still scoreless as we go to the top of the third, and I got Longoria stepping in for me. And he hit a fly ball to right field, which was apparently caught by Kepler. And that brings up Rough Ned Odor. And he is going to triple. Triple one to 13. That was sweet. All right, Odor at third with one out and Harper up. And that's going to be a catcher card, and I think the catcher misplayed it. So Odor scored, and now Harper can do whatever he wants, and he walks. That brings up Timmy Anderson with one out, and he's hitting a single one to seven, and it is a single, and now Gallo's up. I'm getting some good rolls here. That's going to be a single one to two, and it's a single with a one. Unbelievable. Mancini up, and he's hit by a pitch. 
Man, Gonzalez is having a rough uh, outing here in, in the third inning. Uh, Hunter Pence up. Hunter Pence gets a single. I can't make an out, and I love it. Tom Murphy's up, and he's going to hit a home run 1-10, to and it is a grand salami. Yeah, I'll bet Gonzalez is tired. He's got to be dog tired. Gritchick is up, and we have a 7 nothing lead, folks. That's a double one seventeen. I can't, man. This is crazy. All right, Longoria is up, and that's a single one to seven, and that's finally that's an out. So there's two down, and Roughned Odor is up, and he strikes out. So uh, we had a nice seven run inning right there. So I think Mr. Merrill Kelly might even be on his own for the rest of the game here. Single for Dexter Fowler though to lead off the bottom of the third, and Mitch Moreland is up. Mitch Moreland gets a single, and now there's two on with no outs, and Grandall is up, and he hits a double, a double play. And now Gary Sanchez is at the plate, and he walks. And now Max Kepler. And Max Kepler is flying out. And then we got Bryce Harper leading off the fourth inning. Maybe I'll bring in some uh, backups. You know, let you guys get a look at the backups here. Gallo is up, and he's hitting a double one seven, and that's a double. Now Mancini's up with two down, and a man at second, and that's it. And I am going to, right now, I am going to go to the bench. And I'm going to bring in Engel to play center field for Gritchick already. And, um... Yeah, let's bring in uh, Brandon Dixon to play first base. And he's actually better defensively at first base than Mancini anyway, so. Uh, so there you go. And there's there's Kipnis, smiling Kipnis. And uh, yes, Kip, Ken Kipnis gets on again. That guy is just uh, been a fire in my face. All right, so you got Todd, the Todd father, comes up with two outs in the bottom of the fourth, and he fouls out. So Hunter Pence is up uh, in the top of the fifth, and he's out. Tom Murphy's up, and he's going to possibly be injured, yeah, the rest of the game. He's out for the rest of the game. And uh, Engel, Adam Engel comes up. He came in defensively for Gritchick. And he's on board with Longoria up and two outs, and he hits him to a double play. And now, yes, I do have to replace Tom Murphy. And, uh, yeah, that's going to be Maldonado who's going to do that. So Maldonado goes in at catcher. And uh, we got Kevin Pallara. And that's ground ball to second. Fowler is up there. And that's a ground ball, and Moreland is up. That's a ground ball to short, he's out. And so Ruffned Odor is up in the top of the sixth. I still got the good 7 nothing lead, and Odor doubles. That brings up Bryce Harper, and he's going to hit a fly to left. And Chafin is tight. Yeah, I guess it was a double, I guess, because Fowler didn't play it. So Tim Anderson is up against the tired Chafin, but he's going to come out and get Chafin, and he's going to bring in Davinsky. And that brings up, um, yeah, let's see. Try to advance. To, I'm going to try to advance the third. What the heck? I'm playing with house money here. And uh, Joey Gallo's up. He's two for three. Harper at third. One out. And that's a home run one to 15. Thank you, Gallo. And it's, it's what is it, 10 nothing? My God. All right, Brandon Dixon's up, and he is out. And that brings up Hunter Pence with two down. And he's out. So we got Kelly going out to the mound in the bottom of the sixth with Grandall up, and he walks. Gary Sanchez is up, and that's going to be a ground ball to short. And he gets on because Anderson probably misplayed it. 
Max Kepler up to two on. Man, base is loaded. Ball four. Ball eight. Low and Vaughn has walked the bases loaded on 12 straight pitches. All right, now, and the, uh, the, uh, unretirable hipness, but he hits into a double play, and there's two down. And uh, But they did score a run with that. And now Javi Baez is up. That's a double one nine. Kelly is tired, but I'm going to keep him out there anyway for right now. And then that's going to be catching card X. And that's it. So they got two runs. And now Maldonado is batting against Davinsky. And that's going to be an out. Adam Engel is up. And that's a fly ball. And here comes Longoria. And he's out. Now I got a, um, yeah, oh, whatever. So now I got a tired Kelly out there. So I am going to go get him. We're going to bring in Derek Law. First time Derek Law has played in this spring training barnstorming uh, season I'm doing. Oh, and by the way, the regular season for us, for this league, this actual league here, will start next Saturday. So we'll see how I do. I mean, I'm not really planning on doing very well at all, but you never know. And Moreland strikes out, and so we're back up in the top of the eighth. Ruffined Odor, and he's out. Bryce Harper. And he's out, and that brings up Jimmy Anderson. And he is out. So we're in the bottom of the eighth. Pitching the grand doll is uh, the main man. And uh, Dixon, I guess, made an error. But Derek Law, yeah, allowed that ground ball. So he made the mistake of allowing a ground ball to Dixon. Kepler is up. And Kepler is going to fly out. And so now here's Kipnis, the unretirable Kipnis, and he lines out. So Gallo, three for four on the day, is up in the top of the ninth with, and I'm holding a 10 to 2 lead here. And he hits a ground ball to short, and he's out. Brandon Dixon is 0 for 1, and he steps in, and he's out. And that brings up Hunter Pence, one for four on the day, and he's out. So, uh, let's see. I don't know if I want to go to the pen. Let me see. Well, no, I don't want to. And there was a double. So, Todd Frazier's up. And that's a ground ball. And Pilar is up with one out and a man at second. And that's going to be a misplay by Dixon, I suppose. Fowler up. And uh, something happened there, and he scored another run. But, of course, I got a really big lead. So Fowler up, and he singles. All right, now I am going to go get somebody else because apparently Law can't handle this. I'm going to go get Jace Fry and bring him in. And there you go, Jace Fry against uh, Moreland. Nice pitcher, best of friends. And there's a double. So now it's, what is it, 10 to 4. So now I am starting to sweat a little bit. But there's a ground ball. He scores another run. It's 10-5. Sanchez up, and he walks. So Kepler is up with two on and two out. And he's going to hit a ground ball to short, and that's going to be it. So we go get the box score. And as you can see, we won 10 to 5. Merrill Kelly pitching six innings and no earned runs allowed. And then Law pitching two and a third and allowing one earned run. And then Fry two-thirds, no earned runs. But he did score five. So that was quite impressive. And now that, that evens our spring record at two and two for the Providence Grays. But for right now, that's it for me, folks. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off from Providence Central.